Hi everybody, so today this video is going to be a little haul. For a start, this necklace that I have on, it's sort of a pearl necklace with different length spikes all over it. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's ASOS own brand and it was £5, which I think is a really nice buy and I've had a couple of comments on it already, which I do think is good. Next, the jumper that I'm wearing, <laughs> this sort of heart thing that's going on. Um, I got it from um, Asda. It was only like, I think it was £14, which for a jumper I think is an amazing buy. Um, I went into Lush today and I got one of the new um, Valentine's Day um, products. This was the only Valentine's product that I quite liked. Um, it is the lip gloss. It's called The Kiss and it looks like this. And it looks like that. It's a bit bumpy. <laughs> But it smells beautiful. It smells a little bit like licorice. Mmm. Really nice anyway. You get 8 grams of product with this one. And yeah, I tried it out on my hand. It feels really nice and the scent is really nice as well. Don't usually like licorice scents but I quite like that. Um, what next? Boring stuff today I got from Superdrug. I got um, nail polish remover, this Sally Handsome one. Um, this is for dry and brittle nails and I also picked up another one of the Barry M white foundations um, because I've run out, well I'm like a few uses away from running out of my other one. Um, I use these to make dark foundations suit my skin. It's so hard to find a foundation that is my skin colour so I have to improvise and sort of use a white foundation and mix it with the darker one to sort of make my own um, and it really works so yeah, if you struggle with foundation, I'd just get one of these and then just buy whatever foundation and just sort of play about with it until you know your shade. From Fragrance Direct, I got some Essie nail polishes because they are like insanely cheap from there. Um, I got this one that I'm wearing on my nails now. I don't usually wear green on my nails, but I quite like this colour. Um, this is called Navigate Her and it's that sort of green colour, that's how it looks on the nails. Yeah, I really like it. So that's Navigate Her. Then we have this one which is Action, which is actually showing up on the screen a lot more orange than it is in real life. Um, in real life it's sort of a, a pastel sort of orange. Um, but yeah, it's a really pretty colour. Again, I don't have many orange colours. Um, so I thought that would be quite nice to try out and play around with. Then we have this one which is called Ladylike, which is a sort of mauve purpley pink colour. Very pretty. I love Essie nail polishes, I think that they're probably one of my favourite brands tied with um, OPI. And finally we have this one which is called Lights. This one is sort of a neon bubblegum pink sort of thing going on. Really nice colour. Very bright. like it a lot. Um, from Dazzle in Doncaster I got some more hair dye because my hair is in serious need of dyeing. Um, I got a rose red which is the colour that I usually use even though my hair is actually pink even though on camera it looks red. It's confusing. Rose red is actually pink. But I'm going to mix it with pillar box red and hopefully gonna find some sort of new colour because I get sick of colours pretty easily so I'm just gonna mix these two together and see what it comes up with and I'm sure it'll be a nice colour. Um, so I got those. From Illamasqua, um, I got this from their sale, it's the Fundamental palette. Haven't used this yet because it only came yesterday and I think this was only like £10 in their sale which I thought was a really good buy. Usual Illamasqua packaging, it's very beautiful and they are the colours. So you've got these two which are eyeshadows, the purple and the yellow. And then you've got this rich liquid, oh, what are they called, rich metal something, what are they called? Liquid metal, yeah. So this is a liquid metal in Surge, it's called. Really pretty. 
Um, then you've got a cream pigment, which is this one here, which is called Bedarb. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Inception and Hype are the purple and the yellow colours in there. From Domino Dollhouse, I actually ordered this ages ago, but it's only just come in. Um, let's throw that down there. It is this Galaxy Print dress. It's so pretty. Um, yeah, I saw this when they had like a sort of preview thing um, in like one of their subscriber emails and I fell in love with this dress like instantly and I knew that I had to have it and it fits really nice and it's long enough for me but not too long. I struggle because dresses generally are either too short for me or they're too long for me. It's hard to find one that's a middle ground and this one is perfect so thumbs up. From HMV, um, yeah possibly my last, last ever transaction at HMV which is quite sad actually um, because yeah I used to work at HMV and they've gone into administration now and even though I got made redundant by them I think it's a place that I've always like really enjoyed even when I like didn't work there um, because I'm a massive like music freak um, and I don't like downloading music I just like having a physical copy of a CD in my hand um, and yeah, I'm gonna miss it if it does go and I just feel sorry for like all the people I've met while I was working there and you know, just feel really really bad for them all and yeah, it's not a nice feeling getting made redundant but I went in today for possibly the last time there's Nipper, bless and um, they had like 25% off or something like that, I don't know um, but I got a couple of albums and a DVD. Um, I got this Mode Selector album. I um, really like Mode Selector, it's sort of dancey um, sort of stuff. Um, they have a song called Tom York which I'm looking forward to hearing. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It was £3. And then I got this one. This See, this is something that I like do, used to like doing in HMV. Is I go in and I would find a cheap CD that I'd not heard of before and listen to it and like, you know, buy it and listen to it and, you know, that's how I found out like some of my like favourite bands that I love now and stuff like that um, you, that's something that you can't really do like on the internet I don't think I don't know but yeah, I got this which I've never heard of before it's Pop Etc I have no idea what it is but um, I saw that it was on Rough Trade, which is a record label that I'm usually has good sort of things going for it, um, and it was three pounds, so I'm quite looking forward to listening to that. Um, in Boots, they were having like a the sale that they had on like all of the um, gift stuff that they usually have at Christmas. They usually go to half price and then it goes to 75% off. And they have finally gone 75% off and thankfully the things that I wanted were still there which was a massive shock to me. I wanted some of like the um, Henry Holland, House of Holland sort of things. I didn't expect them to have them in but they had the three things that I wanted and they were 75% off. So I got this. This is three nail polishers um, and as you can see they're sort of in the shape of houses. So there they are really interesting bottles I think and then you get one of these which I wanted one of these anyway but I forgot to pick one up while I was out and I wanted this for quite a while um, but I didn't really want to pay £18 for it I think it worked out at I think it was £4 something for this and inside it has got a squeegee as I call them I don't know if other people call them them um, you get it says um, glamour and glitz all in the spritz which is quite a nice little thing. Smells pretty nice as well, so thumbs up for that. And then we have this, which is called Oh My Gosh, You Can't Swear on a Body Wash. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Mm, that smells quite nice. It smells quite unisex, which is quite nice. Really like the packaging on these, they're very cute. And finally in here, 
we have hey hey hands off my souffle <laughs> so that's pretty funny and this is a body souffle obviously and that's how it looks it's bright orange oh that smells beautiful mmm smells really fruity and then there's this little set um, which is the OMG Glamour Kit in here it's got quite a interesting addition of having a necklace with it which says oh my gosh it's quite interesting but I probably won't wear this um, it's not really my style but I don't know I like Henry Holland so I might wear it eventually um, you get a liquid eyeliner which is called nothing finer than a liquid liner so that's quite interesting looks quite thick and very black which is a good thing so that's that um, you get another one of these this is in the other set, I believe. Um, doesn't have a name. No. But still quite cute. A nice red with... Seems to have like pink glitter running through it. It's quite nice. And then this is the main reason I wanted this one. It's because of this lip gloss. I thought it looked beautiful. Um, it's called... Show them who's boss with this lip gloss. Hey. Um, and this one is called Pink Lights. And I believe, yeah, it's one of the lip glosses that's got the light in it. Okay, so I just put some on and I quite like it. Feels really nice, not very sticky at all. And I think that this colour is very pretty. From Max Factor, I got this, which is a very, very pretty nail varnish. Um, it's very odd but very unique um, this colour is called Fantasy Fire and as you can see it's it's not quite pink it's not quite blue it's not quite purple it's very pretty and I cannot wait to try this out I think that's going to be the next nail polish that I put on my nails and I will post an Instagram photo of it um, I'm found on film on Instagram and yeah, I will post a picture of that on later. Um, that Henry Holland thing, it will not come off. Seriously. That's definitely a good eyeliner for the money. I also got these in the post today. These are some new darts. I have a dart board now in my room, which I'm so pleased for. Um, these are unicorn darts. These will not interest anyone at all. That's why I've shown them last. Um, I believe that they're 26 grams and yeah they haven't got flights on them at the moment because i bought some dean win stanley flights and that's the guy who's from like around here as you can see he's got the yorkshire rose on there as well so i'm gonna attach those and throw some darts so that has been like a really long video so i'm very very sorry and yeah i will see you all again very very soon adios